I came to Mission Hospital with post-traumatic stress disorder, anxiety, severe depression. I really, I was unable to leave my home and uh, in fear of everyone and everything. I checked myself into Mission Hospital. I was absolutely petrified to be there. I was afraid I might be locked up, maybe never get out, because I was so afraid of people. And um, that there was really something wrong with me. And there was something wrong with me. I had lost all hope. I didn't want to, um, I really didn't want to live, but I was too afraid to kill myself. And um, it was really my last hope. Mission Hospital, I got there. I was petrified. But the staff was absolutely incredible. I mean, every time I tried to leave or acted out or wanted to get up and go, they said things to me that, that kept me there. They really loved me back to life. I was the office manager for seven years until May of 2014 when I was 48 years old and I experienced a manic episode. During my manic episode, my oldest son was a freshman at UC Santa Barbara when the Isla Vista shooting occurred. When I found out that his friend was one of the victims and that the shooter was a 22-year-old boy who was in treatment since he was eight years old, I knew that I needed to become involved with adolescent mental health care. As a parent of a child with mental health issues and having my own challenges, I recognize that there is a huge need in our community to serve those in need. We need to bring mental health awareness out into the open and let everyone know that there is no shame in reaching out for help. Thanks to Mission Hospital, our teenagers will have access to local inpatient and outpatient treatment to help prevent tragedies from occurring like the three suicides that transpired within the past few months in Laguna Beach. Caroline was born a typical, normal little girl in Orange County and happy and up until probably at the end of fifth grade we noticed something terribly wrong. At that point when you're living with someone you can't tell that they've lost so much weight but everyone was saying she's all of a sudden so thin, something's not right. We rushed her to the ER. The doctors told us she had almost died. And we couldn't believe we had gotten to this position with our kid because it was happening so quickly and so fast. At that point, we started calling around everywhere in Orange County, doctors, places, and who could deal with eating disorders. And she was only 11 at the time. And no one had heard about something like that in Southern California with a girl so young. It was more 15, 16, early 20s. Unfortunately, we were forced to go out of state and we had to bring Caroline to Colorado where she spent probably the next three months there and I lived there for the summer. The rest of the family was back in Orange County, my husband with the two other girls, and we proceeded down this journey and we brought her home and then she relapsed again. There are times that I just want to die. I mean, it's like, oh my God, how can my kid have this, you know, and I want to die for her. I want to take some of that mental illness from her for her not to have to go through a lifetime of this. She looks so normal. There's so many kids that look normal, but that struggle and that have, you know, deep struggles. And it's, it's really hard. And sometimes we lose compassion for the mentally ill, and we can't because every day is a struggle for them. And an eating disorder and anorexia is a mental illness, and it's something that I hope that one day we can find a cure for and make it 
less hard on children and adults too. There's many adults that struggle with this too for a lifetime. And there are, there are kids dying out there from depression and anxiety and eating disorders. And if we can bring this to the forefront as a community, we can help save a lot of lives. As chairperson for Fund and Need, this is very dear to my heart. So many of us have watched our loved ones struggle with mental health issues. My heart aches for families who cope with mental illness, but I'm also filled with hope for all the youth who will be given the opportunity to thrive and be well through the adolescent mental health programs at Mission Hospital Laguna Beach. We treasure each gift. No dollar amount is too small. I urge you to find a teen or a young adult who is underinsured and unable to pay for care, or fund one of our many capital needs required to build out this program. Together, we have the resources to make a significant impact. Please join me in supporting this important cause. I thank you from the bottom of my heart for your spirit of giving.